Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, we are at the Goodwill bins. Yay! Let's see what I can find. We are going to be digging for about 40 minutes here, and we're going to talk about that. I did pick this up, and I haven't listed it yet. It's hiding in a bag somewhere. There's a few things here at the beginning that I think got stuck in a different bag, so stay tuned for those. I definitely always pick up stickers. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Absolutely love picking up stickers. So stickers, magnets, Legos, uh, certain things like that. I pick them up and I just kind of hold on to them and I'm going to get them listed eventually. I like to put them in lots and I just haven't had time to do it yet. So it's easier for me to just make a pile of like items. Um, you're going to see me throw things in my cart. Um, if I pop up a screenshot, it means I have already listed the item. If I do not, it means I either threw it back, it's sitting in a bag somewhere, or um, I just forgot to pop up the screenshot. But a lot of times I throw items back. So just because you see me pick it up doesn't mean I bought it. What I would love for you guys to do is timestamp anything that you see that you would have picked up that I missed because we all source differently and something that I pick up and put down or just totally overlook, you may be screaming at your TV or your phone or whatever you're watching, like, why didn't you get that? Please, please, please share in the comments. I would love to know what I missed. Um, that I do not get offended by that at all. I actually look at that as a teaching moment for not only myself, but everybody watching. So timestamp those bolos down in the comments and tell me why it's a bolo or, or why you source for it or like to buy it. Um, just recently went to the bins and we are now at $1.99 a pound. On this trip, it was still $1.89 a pound. So uh, seeing increases with the inflation, um, how are you guys doing? Uh, have your prices gone up at your bins? Um, are you seeing increases on a regular basis? I feel like we're getting hit every six months or so. So it should be interesting. Um, and you know, that weight, it, it can add up quickly without you knowing it. You know, you check out and you're like, oh, really? It's that much? Um, but overall, you know, it's so much fun. And I just love the treasure hunt. So let me know if you love the treasure hunt down in the comments. Tell me your favorite thing to source. And also, uh, I am leaving in all of the digging. So what I used to do is I would chop out a lot of the digging and just really show you guys what I picked up. So there wouldn't be a lot of extra. And I asked for your feedback and most of you said that you want me to leave the digging in. And I started thinking about it and I'm like, you know, I think it's gonna be more educational if I leave the digging in and ask everyone to participate and help out by sharing what they would have picked up in the comments. Plus it's more fun that way, right? You guys get to share and you get to yell at the screen. <laughs> so uh, this Paw Patrol boat, you know, it's just so big and heavy and I didn't want to ship it. Could I have made money on it? Probably, but also at almost $2 a pound, you know, that's probably going to cost me between five and $7, depending on how much it weighs. That might be good for somebody who has like a booth, um, a flea market booth. If anybody has a booth, let me know in the comments, do you source at the bins for your booth? There was one lady I was talking to one time and she has garage sales. So she sources at the bins for garage sales. All right, let's keep looking here. And I did find some stuff. I'm going to be popping up screen shares. If it's sold, I will let you know that the item sold. Um, if it didn't, you'll just see a screen share and that means it is available in my eBay store. Some of the items have been cross-posted, some of them have not. I just kind of cross-post when I can. 
Um, I do use this perfectly. It saves me so much time. So if you guys are interested in getting your items on other platforms, definitely check out my video down below. It's a tutorial. It's going to show you how to use this perfectly because number one, like you're not going to sell me on anything if I can't see how it works and know that it's going to benefit my business. And number two, I'm not going to tell you guys to use something if I don't think it will benefit your business. I've been using this perfectly since 2019 and I absolutely love it. Um, so check out that video down below. I'll show you how to just cross post and I'll also show you how to um, use the catalog and then you can decide what works best for you. If you decide you want to try it, you can use coupon referral code BOLO BUDDIES, all one word. That's going to get you 30% off your first month of List Perfectly. I just say all the time, don't have all your eggs in one basket because when eBay is slow, those other platforms can pick up that extra weight. You know, even if it's one or two sales here and there, um, it, it just all adds up. It just really all adds up. So I'm dividing my time between YouTube and Mercari, Poshmark, and eBay right now. I really, really need to get back on Etsy. I was doing pretty good there for a while of um, listing items on Etsy, and I just kind of, I just took a break from it and have not gone back. Uh, let me know if you sell on Etsy, if you're having success with that, or um, what your pay what's your favorite platform? What platforms do you guys sell on? Um, I recently started adding buy it nows over on Whatnot. Um, so Whatnot is a platform where you have live sales and you sell your items live, but there's also a marketplace where you can sell your items in like a buy it now format. So check me out on Whatnot and you can see what I'm talking about. I'm Bolo Buddies over there. And you can use my referral link down below to get... Um, $15 to shop when you join with my referral link for whatnot down below. This here is the replacement blocks to that train. Um, I did not grab the train. The train is massive, um, but I knew that I could sell the blocks and those blocks flew out of my store. So replacement parts and pieces. If you watch my channel, you know that I sell them. Most of the time they are long tail but in situations like this, sometimes they just sell very quickly and these blocks sold very quickly. Uh, that is a Melissa and Doug horse thing there. We're going to talk about that here shortly. Um, let's see what else we can find here. Lots of toys. You guys, I'm a toy picker upper. Um, if you're new to the channel, I love picking up toys. Look at this incredible mask. Oh my goodness. Bolo. Um, now I just need somebody to buy it. It is so cool. Uh, that was a Melissa and Doug. It holds horses. Um, I picked that up, I think, in another video. And I sold the horses separately. In the future, I will not grab the wood crate because it's really heavy. And the last time I grabbed it, it had damage. So um, I sold the horses separately and they did really well. And you will see that in another Goodwill Bins video. That's a Pokemon figure. Um, lots of the toys you'll see me pick up, I put to the side and I bundle like items together. Uh, this right here are Little Tykes Noah's Ark figures. So I've got those listed and available in my eBay store. There is a link to my eBay store down in the description if you guys want to check out what I'm selling. I've got over 7,000 listings. Um, some of those are multi-quantity, so, you know, um, it probably looks like between four and 5,000 listings, but with the multi-quantity, I think I'm sitting at about 7,000. But I have been doing this a long time. I have been a reseller since 2005. I've been on YouTube for four years. I just hit four years, I think, in December. And I just hit 30,000 subscribers. So thank you guys all so much for being here, supporting me by watching. I appreciate you all. Hit that thumbs up. And I hope that you will check out another video if you're new here. Um, I do Goodwill Bins videos, but I also do a lot of what solds and I feature other people's bolos. It's uh, really geared towards educating you on items to be on the lookout for, items that you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. So um, like I said, if you're new here, I'd love for you to check out another video, something besides a Goodwill Bins video. But if not, just keep coming back for the bins <laughs> because I am going to be pumping them out because I have been listing like a machine. 
and I really do enjoy um, the Goodwill Bins videos. It would be nice to just go in and just have me talking while I'm there and not have to do the voiceover because if you think about it, when a YouTuber does a video and they do a voiceover, so I have to watch the video back and pop up all my screenshots. So that takes about an hour. And then this is a 40 minute video. So I'm doing a 40 minute voiceover. <laughs> I have to grab all of those screenshots from eBay to pop up. So creating a Goodwill Benz video can take anywhere between three and four hours. So you guys see 40 minutes, but the time it takes is actually much longer, but they're super fun to make. But what I was going to say is if I just went to the bins and talked while I sourced, that would save me a lot of time. But because my channel is education based, I like to pop up the screen shares for you guys and help you guys learn what to look for. So I appreciate you all being here. And uh, if you want to share this video out, that would be incredible. Uh, definitely trying to grow the channel, get more views. Um, that helps cover my time because when I am on YouTube, I am not on eBay, which hurts my eBay store. I know a lot of people think that um, having a YouTube channel gets more gets you more sales. And in some cases, a lot of YouTubers do have a lot of viewer sales. I have some, and I'm thankful for every single one of them, but I really don't push my eBay store on my viewers. Um, if you guys want to buy from me, that's awesome. But, you know, I never, ever expect it. I just appreciate you guys being here and watching. Um, so thank you all so much for that. Okay, let me know. Am I missing anything? Picking up the small toys, throwing them down. Some of them I'm keeping. Some of them I throw back. It really just depends. Sometimes you got to pick it up and actually look at it. You know what I'm saying? Is it a brand? Is it not a brand? All right. This is a nice little mess of toys right here. So I'm checking things out. I'm being thorough. Dinosaurs, I always look at the dinosaurs. I always look at the animal figures. Some of those can do really, really well. Um, I don't know what that was. That was, I believe, a mega block, an older one. So I will pick those up. This is a, I think, generic like Lego track. I'm not sure. I think I left that behind. This is a costume for a doll. I think I got that, and I think I'm going to put it with... Um, some other doll clothes and maybe sell it in a lot. Haven't quite decided on that yet. I think I picked it up because it looks like a little gingerbread, but I wasn't sure what it fit. All right. There's a, is that a shark? Hmm. These are shake and go. I have sold those in the past. I've lauded them up. Um, I don't know. They're not, they're heavy. So to me, I just felt like I, I wanted to pass on those this round. I'm not saying they're a bad pickup. Monster trucks, Blaze and the Monster Machine, those types of cars I will pick up. There's a Ben's video that I just did and I found this little orange metal truck and it was in pretty poor condition. And that thing sold really fast for $24.99 plus shipping. Um, so you just you never know. Like I didn't know that that car was going to be worth 25 bucks, but I knew it was old and I thought it looked cool. So I took a chance because it probably weighed like four ounces and that does not cost me very much money. So it is worth the gamble. These shake and go cars, you know, I, I don't know. You got to put batteries in them. You got to make sure they go half the time you shake them and they don't work. I, I see I'm shaking it. I'm like, is it going to work? Is it going to work? And I don't think it worked, but it may have just needed batteries. But you know, when you take things home and you have to put batteries in them, that's your time. But I do pick up animated toys. I do have a third channel. It's called Reseller Testing Bolo Products. And what I do is I show you how toys work on that channel. So it's really just a testing products channel, trying that out, seeing how it goes. I've been at it a few years. You know, I, I'm just not super consistent over there. I just do the best I can. As I list things that have a function, I put them on that channel. 
My second channel is Sourcing with Bolo Buddies, which I got to be honest with you, sometimes I wish I never would have started. Um, back when I started this channel, I was um, doing unboxings and really my viewers, they weren't, they weren't receptive of those and I really enjoyed doing them. So I started that uh, second channel, Sourcing with Bolo Buddies, to put those types of videos over there. So if you like those types of videos, definitely check out that channel. But now I've been kind of mixing my unboxings into my reseller vlogs, which has been kind of fun. So I'm just kind of mixing it up and putting most of my content on this channel. But I do have content over on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel also. I will link those down below in the description if you guys would like to check them out. Uh, this was like a whole box of, I, I don't know if they're DVDs or CDs. I, I'm not sure. I, I think now like, could it have been something that you do one and just have like 50 of them available? I, I don't know. Or is it something that's limited that you're not allowed to resell? It like has no resale value. It's just something that they gave away. I have no idea, but um, I left it behind. So let me know what you would have done. All right. There are all kinds of balls and I almost missed an item because of all these balls. And we're going to talk about that here in a little bit. So stay tuned. Again, lots of digging. This footage I would have pulled out, but um, you guys asked me to leave it, so I'm leaving it. Do you guys see anything special? See anything I missed? Look at this little puppy. Little puppy. A lot of times with plush, um, it's going to depend on what it is. You know, if it's really dirty, I'll leave it behind. It's just, it's too much. Um to try to spot clean them or put them in the washing machine and like what's on it. And if it's that dirty, ugh, I'll just leave them behind. They have to be in good condition usually for me to pick them up. Let me know what you guys do with plush at the Goodwill bins. I did pick up that. I will probably lot it with something else. Lots of stuff I'm picking up and looking at, but just not a lot going into my cart. That's Imaginex, but again, a very heavy item. Uh, does your Goodwill bins offer discounts on heavy items? I did pick this up. This is like, uh, is it maybe a diabetic or something? I can't remember what it said on it, but um, I was hoping maybe it was going to be like sterling, but I think it's just stainless steel. I've got that just in a, uh, sitting with some jewelry. I haven't really looked into it too much yet. All right, anything jewelry I pick up, it doesn't matter what it is. If you can wear it and it's decent looking, I grab it because it's lightweight. I did, I think this is the video where I picked up a bunch of the dolls, but most of them didn't have clothes on them. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with them. I might sell them as a lot. Um, sometimes people will fix, pick those up. I know somebody bought some from me on Poshmark. And what they do is they buy them and they fix them up and then they put clothes on them and they resell them on Poshmark, which was pretty cool. So that was in one of my videos that I, uh, one of my past videos where I talked about that. Okay, there's a big bunny bolo coming up, but I did not get it. I left it behind. And we're going to talk about that here shortly. So stay tuned. This little pep of the pig. Should I have got that? It looks like um, one of those leap frogs. I think I should have got it. And I left it behind. I'm kind of bummed about that. All right. I feel like we're getting close to the big money bolo that I left behind. Okay, that right there is a Christmas tree base to, I think, is it step two? Um, those can definitely be a bolo. Uh, I did not end up getting the base. I could have sold it separately, but it was pretty big. Um, I was wondering if that was a Welly Wisher. Welly Wishers, I think is what they're called. So here is, if you can find it complete, they can go anywhere from $50 to $100. 
This right here is a big money bolo. They used to go for way more than they're comping out for now. And I was going to pick this big guy up. I probably could have got it definitely at a discounted price, but it had this all over it. And I don't know what it was. And I don't know if it was going to come out. And I left it behind because it was kind of gross. There's one that sold for $52. These used to sell in the hundreds to $200 range. Now they're going for around 50 bucks. That is a lot of work and a big item. So I decided to leave that caterpillar behind. Let me know down in the comments, would you have grabbed it? We've talked about these before and you guys, I left it behind again. Um, I think it was in one of my featured members videos. Somebody sold these for a really good price and I left it behind again. I don't know. I just couldn't get into it. Just couldn't. Okay, right here. Nope, nope, nope. Hold on. Right there. I pointed to it. That goes to that Christmas tree. I don't think I see it this round. I think I come back for it. Um, so the tree, the step two tree that I was showing you guys that's a bolo, that is one of the ornaments. And I actually picked up two of the ornaments and I have them listed separately and I am selling them as replacement parts. Care Bears. I'm, man, I don't do a lot of Care Bears. I should probably pick them up, but um, I have a few listed in my store, but it, I usually pass on the Care Bears unless they're vintage. Let me know, do you guys pick up Care Bears and how do you do with them? Do they have to be vintage to sell? Are they a bread and butter? If not, uh, let me know if you would have picked up that Care Bear. All right, we are going to keep on looking here. He was broken. Otherwise, I think he might have been like um, a folk art Santa. And I really like picking up folk art Santas. I've done really, really well with them in the past. Um, cute little dinosaur there. I don't think I picked him up. I left some plush behind this day. That was an owl. I left an owl behind. Can you believe it? Bolo Buddies left an owl. Oh my goodness. What is happening? I did pick up this right here. It is a PJ mask, mask and tail. It goes to a costume, so it's just a replacement. Um, I think that was a dog toy. Lots of dog toys at the bins. Have you guys noticed that? This little guy is super cute. Um, I thought I picked him up, but maybe I didn't. If I did, he's listed in my store, and I forgot to do the screen share. I may. I think it was Daniel Tiger. Is that who that was? I think it was. All right, we are going to keep on digging here. This here I picked up. It, is it an otter? It's an otter. It's a river otter. And it's funny, I was looking up comps on that, and one of the comps I pulled up was for the Rebel Reseller, and I watch her channel, so it was super funny. Um, I was like, oh my goodness, we both have one listed now, but hers is in better condition than mine. So if you're not following the Rebel Reseller, definitely check her out. She has an amazing YouTube channel and uh, she specializes in plush, but does sell other uh, vintage to now items as well. So definitely check her out. I will link her in the description of the video. I did pick up this plush. The odds the odd tease out, I guess it is. I've never heard of it. I just thought it looked interesting. So I grabbed it and I used Google Lens to figure out who that was. Um, Beanie Boos. I did a video, category video on Beanie Boos. Some of them can go for crazy money. You definitely want to watch that video and you want to know which ones to look for because when I tell you some of them go for hundreds of dollars, some of them go for hundreds of dollars. I did grab this little purple guy. I thought he was kind of cute and he is available. Um, he's the rainforest plush. Now I am going to grab a bunch of these beanie boos because at this point in time, I'm not sure if I was able to remember every single one that was big money. None of the ones I got were big money. So I decided to lot them up. And I am going to sell them as a big bundle for somebody who maybe collects Beanie Boos. So those are available. I did get this little sock monkey. He's dressed like a penguin and he is really cute. I've done okay with sock monkeys, so I will pick them up. Here's another Beanie Boo. Uh, the Beanie Boos are the ones with the big glitter eyes. 
There's another one. So I just made that big lot and hopefully somebody will come along and just scoop all of those up for one price. This is a cat. I believe it's a TY, Thai, Thai cat. It was kind of in rough condition, but I thought it was really cute. It's really cute, but you know, let's see what else we can find. Here's another cat. Anything realistic looking, I do have a video on realistic plush to be on the lookout for. Some of those can go for really big bucks also. Uh, the life-size ones, oh my goodness, over 100 bucks. some of them. You just got to find the right items for the right people. You know, you just never know. This is a little tiger. I am looking at tags. Um, different brands, you know, bring more money, of course. So check out my Bolo plush category videos if you want to learn about that. Folk Monis, always, always pick up Folk Monis. They are puppets and they are fantastic. And I found that one and he was an older one. So that was pretty cool find. I love digging in the plush. As you can tell, I will dig and dig. I did not grab that doll. I don't know what that was. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments. Should I have grabbed it? Um, I think it had some condition issues, so I ended up leaving it behind. Lots of small plush. Um, this last time I went, I did pick up a bunch of small plush, and I think I'm going to do like uh, a lot of small plush. This one's a Manhattan toy bunny. I thought it was really, really sweet, so I did pick that up. Those do good around Easter time, the bunnies. I don't think I got this. I'm not sure why. I think maybe it was yellowing, but um, that was pretty cute. Maybe I should have got it. This hedgehog, definitely a pickup. It's a realistic item. It's going to be harder to find. Not a lot of hedgehogs out there. So um, just, again, waiting on the right buyer for that. Super cute little hedgehog. Not very big. I don't know what that is. Should I got that? All right. Look at this one. $31 plus shipping. It is a kid's preferred plush and that sold super fast. $31 plus shipping. To me, that is a bolo all day long. Fast sale, 30 bucks. Probably paid a buck for it. Yes, please. Love it. All right. That's a Wii Fit board. Anybody sell Wii Fit boards? Do you guys part them out or... You just leave them behind. I leave them behind because they're so heavy. I'm really looking at this. I'm inspecting the, I think it's an elephant. Checking the tush tag. Very important. Will I buy an item if it does not have a tush tag? Yes, I will. If I know that it is a good brand and I recognize it, or if it's just a cool item. I did pick up this dinosaur. Um, it is Wild Republic. So a lot of plush is long tail. Um, I've heard people say, I'm buying plush and it's not selling. Why isn't it selling? Because you gotta find the right plush. This here is the right plush. And I listed that on auction and it sold to somebody. This was their third one. The other two had been ruined and mine from the bins was in better condition. So that sold for $44.99 plus shipping. And I bet you if I would have started that auction at 100 bucks, that item would have sold for 100 bucks. I may have underpriced that one, but it wasn't in great condition, you know? You just never know. I'm always like listed high and I felt like $44.99 was high, but um, I am happy that the person that got it got it because it was something they had been looking for. And, you know, I made a nice profit. They got something they needed and they didn't have to pay a hundred bucks for it, even though it would have been nice to get a hundred bucks for it. All right, here is my shopping cart, this tote. And we're going to see what else we can find. I think those were some Jenga pieces. Do you guys... Remember playing Jenga? There's all sorts of different Jenga variations. I see them all the time at the bins. 
I've seen people sell Jenga pieces separately. How crazy is that? Look it up. Look up Jenga replacement pieces. You guys will be surprised. I mean, people are selling them, not for a lot of money. It seems like a waste of time to me. But if you think about it, if you can buy an entire Jenga box and do multi-quantity listing and sell each one for $2, I mean, that would add up. It is kind of smart. It's not a lot of work. It's one listing, multi-quantity, and just list it and forget it. I like to say that. Uh, That's what I do. I list it and I forget it. However, I did the other day, um, I've been trying to refresh some of my old listings, anything that's been listed on eBay for over three years. I am currently trying to relist those items and do sell similar because um, they're really stale and I just need to take the time to do that even though I don't have the time to do that and I don't want to do that. I need to make time. So today I took the time and I think I did about 50 of them. I'm just showing you guys a better shot of how big this caterpillar is. It is just massive. All right, here we go. I found it. I finally found it and figured out what they were. They were mixed in with all those other balls. And there's the other one right there. I do have the base of the tree and part of the tree down in the bottom of my cart. I was hoping to find the entire thing, but I didn't. So I ended up just taking the ornaments. I did grab that little cabbage patch bottle. Um, Again, it's a replacement part, but I like to pick up replacement parts. I always seem to gravitate towards bottles. Uh, Duplo Legos, definitely something that I look for. I've been doing really well with those. I've actually been doing pretty good with those over on Poshmark. So if you have Duplo Legos on eBay and you cross post, definitely get those over to Poshmark. All right, let's get All right. We are going to keep looking here. I don't know what that was. The first day of school or something. It had like puzzles in it. I don't know. I open every box. I try to open every box, every sunglass case, um, anything that's in a bag. I always look inside things. I have found some nice bolos inside of things, things that people pass by. I open folders. I look for stickers. Um, There's just so many things that can be hidden inside of things. So that would be my tip to you is to look inside of the bags. All right. What's that little guy? Little pumpkin guy. Probably should have grabbed him because he was Halloweeny. Halloweeny. I do have some made up words. And I do mispronounce a lot of things. So if you're new to my channel and you watch some of my what solds, um, I do struggle with with the big words. All right. This is, I think that was a horse. I probably should have grabbed that. What is that? Wipes? Some sort of wipes? Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. So much of it gets pulled back. I mean, it just doesn't get bought. I mean, there's only so many people that come to the bins every day. Now, that's a disappearing milk bottle. If that would have had, if they dry up, but if those are working, definitely pick those up. They do sell. All right. Keep on digging. Tell me what your favorite thing is that I have picked up and listed in my eBay store. Let me know down in the comments. Here's some Paw Patrol. Um, I do grab those. Right now, I am bagging them into a bag of Paw Patrol items, and I am going to list them in small lots. I do list some of my Paw Patrol um, individually. It really just depends um, on which item it is. I'm making sure this isn't a big chunk of sterling silver. (laughs) Could you imagine finding sterling silver at the Goodwill bins? Let me know if you have ever found, like, a sterling silver piece, like silverware or stuff like that at the bins. Um, I did pick up that cute little bunny plush. I love bunnies. Um, bunnies and other realistic looking plush, I always pick it up. Definitely a bolo. Uh, people are looking for realistic plush. Now, some of it is long tail and some of it sells really quickly. I just sold a um, a plush, a realistic looking plush. I'm not going to tell you because it's going to be in a future video or it's in a past video, 
but I sold it in 10 minutes for $150. And it's just because it was realistic looking and somebody wanted it and it happens. It does. It really does. So stay tuned for those videos. And I got it at the Goodwill Benz, so I think I probably paid a couple bucks for it. All right, this here, I think I left that behind. Would you have picked it up? That is a Peppa the Pig piece. And I just don't think, I thought I listed it, but I couldn't find my listing. So I did list this and I added a daddy mud pig with it. So um, I, I really feel like that Ferris wheel, or I think I may have called it the wrong thing when I went to search for it on um, eBay to pop up the screenshot, or maybe I didn't list it yet. That right there is a Paw Patrol playset. If you can find that little uh, thing, I pointed to where it goes. Um, it's a sound box, and that sound box can bring you anywhere from $15 to $25. The Octonaut set has one also. I always part those out. This is a vintage bunny. Oh my goodness. So stinking cute. I've got that listed for $46 or best offer. More than likely, I will take an offer on that, but I feel like someone is going to be looking for it. And um, Donatella Bottolino, that is kind of her thing that she says, someone is looking for this. And she'll hold up an item over on her YouTube channel and show everyone, someone is looking for this. And Donatella is now on Whatnot also, so you guys join with my link down below, get your free $15 to shop with my referral link and go follow Donatella on um, whatnot. It's just her first name. Uh, those were the Duplo Legos. This guy right here is a jelly cat and I will tell you jelly cat can be a bolo. That guy was in horrible condition. His neck was all wonky and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to disclose it and I'm going to put it up for auction and would you know it, that thing sold. Um, I did pick up these little, uh, is it Nutribullet or something like that? I don't know. They're replacement. Uh, it's for, uh, I think, pureeing baby food. I found three or four of them. And here they are, three of them. Yeah, Nutribullet, I don't know. You can rewind and look at the screenshot. I can't remember what it's called. But I figured there's a market for it. I mean, people can throw those in the dishwasher, wash them up, and use them, right? These are little Mr. Potato Heads, and that's a G.I. Joe. I'm just kind of showing you some of the stuff. I always grab a little container, and I put stuff in it. That uh, calculator, I bought it, but it did not end up working, unfortunately. So um, I ended up just getting rid of that. So I'm going to show you a few more things here, and we are getting close to the end of the video. we got about two minutes left. I'm going to ask that you guys subscribe. If you're new here, I would greatly appreciate it. Here's some other items that I'm popping up that I um, have listed in my eBay store. That's some sort of transformer thing. And lots of goodies. And like I said, if you will hit that thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, and share, I would greatly appreciate it. And I hope you check out another video. There's going to be a couple videos popping up at the top and one at the bottom and a subscribe at the bottom. So definitely check out another video. Thank you all so much for being here. We're going to dig a little bit longer and that's going to be it for this one. So thank you again for the support and for watching. I keep thinking we're like at the end. That's like a jumbo thing, and I thought about getting it, but it was just too jumbo, so I left it behind. I did put it in my tote, just in case. I comped it, and it was just, it wasn't worth it. I do pick up a bag of little people here at the end and I still got to get those listed. Thanks for watching.